on the 23rd floor of Barrage. It's completely out of fucking control. Now, just so you know, I wrote about this in my book, the first book, right? And I it's described that exact scene, which came on the heels of all the other insanity I was doing, right? And the interesting thing was I already got about 150 pages in the book, and I was full of crazy shit. I mean, it candles up my ass, also like what up the ass no big deal. Like, <laughs> all this crazy shit, ninja tossing that all through. And this is a female editor, Danielle Perez Reyes, and she was awesome. She's like, oh my god, this is great. Like, really? I'm like, okay. She's like, this is awesome. People are love it. She's like, oh my god. And it's, oh, great, great, great. I'm like, wow. I'm like, so I'm just gonna go for it. So I got this part with the bachelor part. I'm like, I'll just fucking go for it, right? So I then write out like 12 pages describing every seedy, disgusting detail that was most minute elegance, right? Where it's like, I mean, like, literally, you can see the cum dripping off people. Is that how much I, right? Anyway, I send the pages to Random House, and I get back a comment. I don't think other human beings will understand. <laughs> and so I know a few will understand. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, these guys, the, you're talking to two, the two the people that that yeah, book was yeah, made. Well, let's, well, let's see. Let's, let's see. Can we get the unredacted version? Anyway. If they find this disgusting, you got oh, oh, you got a real problem on your head. No, this is this is so anyway. Oh, this is like this is like a space time continuum tear. It like tear space time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like there was music and stopped. There was like people like, frozen. It was like you know like, like fucking X Men shit. Like it was like frozen in place, right? So anyway, so I met this guy and I we walk in together, right? And there it is. The first thing we see is the bathroom door opens. A little hooker, blue chip, walks like 19, 20 years old. She's limping out, crying, and this guy follows her out. This guy, his nickname was the biggest dick on Wall Street, a 12-inch cock the size of Campbell's suit can, right? She's crying, so everyone gives his hands $500, so she's like, thank you, and she limps away, right? Okay, he's like, I had to do it, but it must happen, right? Then it's like a dog, poised on all fours, who's fucking and getting blowjob, nitrous cop. Sorry, 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 can you say what you yeah, just said yeah, yeah, yeah. one more time, dude, just, just the way you said it? Dude, this is just, by the way, by the way, this is nothing. That's Rookiesville here, okay? Anyway, what is cocaine out on plates, you know, dishes of quaaludes. Everyone's fucking out in the open. Like, it's just complete fucking minute. Orgy out in the open, right? Like, you know, nitrous oxide. Everyone's fucking doing whippets on a fucking tag. It's just complete fucking insanity. And behind us is the glass, you know, view of Vegas. Just to, just to see like you couldn't imagine, right? Like that in the movies, right? So anyway, um, and by the way, here's the same I didn't think it was weird. Though. Like, you just walked in. You were like, normal night in Vegas. Right? Yeah, normal night in Vegas. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah, right? This guy Wigwam was his nickname, right? Called him in the movie he was rug rapping, we called him Wigwam because he had the right. worst toupee this side of the Iron Curtain, right? Like yeah. a fucking dead squirrel on his head. So Wigwam was fucking coked out of his mind, right? He's like, he comes up and goes, dude, dude. I'm like, what? Yeah, like Ellie, uh, my friend spoke and understood loose, I should say, understood loose speak, right? He goes, oh, he said, check this out. He's like, Ugh. He brings us to the back. We walk through a series of fucking naked bodies of hookers and insanity. Get to the back, and there at the back of the room, I see the single most disgusting thing ever going on. There's a whole, like, this, it's like, by the way, thank God this was a Meet Before Me Too generation, right? I don't I don't condone this on your YouTube, I swear to God. Thank you. Yeah. The review team will, will love that. Yeah. That'll yeah. take care of everything he says. <laughs> Anyway, okay, um, so, okay, make a long story short, make a short story long, right? Um, there's a girl on a stool, pink sheep hooker, truly with the face of a sheep dog, missing teeth, all the fucking thing, and it's like 20, it's just really bad, there's like 20 guys lined up, you know, to bang her, and they're all banging her without condoms, oh. all right? So they're lined up, one guy's banging her, and of course you have to look, see, like, why not, right? So you're like, oh, what the hell's that? I mean, look, and that's just... I pulls out as it came, and it's like the grossest, most disgusting pussy in the 